Good morning. It is Saturday, November the 16th, and it's early. I've got plenty of coffee. I've got a few baits to show you guys this morning. You guys are probably going to see one towards the end of this week um, in regards to this particular video. I've got, uh, like I've been talking about, I've got some stuff that I want to have scheduled that I want to get out. I've been doing some spray sessions uh, in accordance with the stuff that I've been spraying for customers. And again, I'd like to thank you guys for the patience. I know it's unusual for me to be gone for three weeks at a time, but I was, it's the only way that I could fit everything in that I needed to do instead of flying back to the East Coast three separate times this year. And I know it put everything a little bit behind the eight ball in the way of catching up on orders, but I really appreciate your patience. You guys are the best clients, customers, viewers, subscribers on the planet, and I love each and every one of you. So thanks again for your patience. If you have an order existing with me, I am working night and day to get your orders done. With that said, I've got a few pieces to show you this morning. They're going out this morning, this being Saturday. So um, starting with a hot sticks crawl. I've got two of these and a 1.5 and I upgraded my client um, to the pre-foil holographic. And let me set one of these down to show you a little bit where you can actually see that holographic foiling, the pre-foil underneath and this is a Dinger 1.5. It's not that heavy mess tape that's been coated on the top. It's a very thin foil and uh, it's a very effective foil. So it just kind of mimics. The one thing that I like about the foil so much is that it really mimics the, uh, the scaling, that pearlescent scaling on a fish. So on this little 1.5, you'll notice that I took a paintbrush I just kind of dabbed on some detailing around the uh, segments of the craw. I like doing that. And this is this is the type of brush that I'm using when I do that. This is a 10 point or 10 10 knot <laughs> if you want to uh, equate that to hooks. It's it's really not, but um, it means that this is a very thin round tip. And it's really good with detailing. This is not an expensive brush. You can pick them up in a 25 pack for just a couple of dollars at your local Walmart. If you guys prefer to order online, I can find you a link. So leave me a comment below. But this is the Hot Sticks Craw. There's two of them, as I showed. Got a little bit of extra detailing just to kind of get that shading right on the bottom of the craw on those segments. And uh, just a fun pattern all the way around. Next up is this farm pond crappie. You can see a little bit of uh, texture in this, and that's because uh, I also, I, and I'm upgrading. The reason when you hear upgrades, it means that I'm giving the customer better stuff than what they, like the stock that I, that I have on the line for the blanks is really, really good. But occasionally when I'm waiting on an order of a particular like 1.5s, um, I will upgrade the customer from waiting on an order, and I had been for this particular lot of them. So this is on a Strike King 1.5, and you can see that there was some texturing in this. So this also has some reflective properties underneath, and I used a, a little bit of mesh to get that done so that you can still see th the foiling underneath of the crappie pattern but fun little 1.5 to build. Next up, we have that M65. This is also from Dinger. And in the wintergreen sun, which is different than the winter gill, the wintergreen is a green sunfish pattern. So basically, it's the, uh, it's the most popular pattern that, I mean, you guys are just blowing the doors off of orders for this particular fish, but it's a it's a guaranteed bass catcher. I, I've had more customers report that they're catching fish on this pattern than just about anything else I've got except for the craws. So if you're looking for a solid fish catching, they all catch fish. They've all been tested, but this has been definitely in the top five. I would venture to say my top three for 2019 on this pattern. Just a good all-around match-the-hatch 
green sunfish pattern. And then last but certainly not least, this is the winter gill. Very simple, very effective. I love jerk baits this time of year, all the way through the winter and into the pre spawn. It's probably, if I'm throwing a hard bait, this is one of two that I'll be throwing. The other two that I love to throw are these little finesse lipless, especially in skinny water. Usually in the wintertime, you get situations where your water level is dropping. Uh, especially if you're in anywhere where they're going to be uh, featuring the body of water for duck hunting or goose hunting or anything like that. They'll drop reservoirs and flood fields to encourage the, uh, the migratory path to come in and, uh, and just drop down. So if you have or live near a situation where that's happening. And then you, usually you don't get a whole bunch of rain this time of year. Now there's exceptions to the rule. It has been a fairly wet winter or, or fall this time of year in Mid-South and Midwest. So, um, but yeah, I love those and I love jerk baits. And this is just a very classic gill pattern and that is all the news that's fit to print. Thanks for stopping by. You guys have a great week. We've got a couple more spray sessions coming out that you guys will be seeing by this coming weekend, next weekend. A um, few days from now when I'm recording. But you guys should be seeing a couple more. You should have already seen a couple by now. And you should be seeing a couple more. So we've got a couple of updates coming up for you guys. A couple more spray sessions. And a whole lot more fishing. You guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.